Okay, guys, um, let's see. Today is Marathon, June of 2022, and we are, Amy and I are going to, right here, Sunset Grill. That will be our second stop. Uh, our third stop will be the bridge here. That um, This is a seven-mile bridge right here, and the first couple of miles is that bike ride I've done a couple of times, um, and then it stops at Pigeon Key. Let me zoom in there. So here's Sunset Grill, and just on the other side, you have to come out and park over here. But here is the old maybe train track, and then here, way out here is Pigeon Key. So that's that's a couple miles here to here is a couple miles. So it's two miles down, two miles back. During the day, this is open. You can do tours. Um, there's some really shallow spots through here. This is like a, coming around the horn. There's like you can cut through Marathon. In one spot, they put it cut, or maybe more than one spot, but there's one main spot right here, so you can kind of come through their cut. Um, let me bring it down, sorry. Bring it down some more for you guys. Um, see the cut right there? And this is actually, I wouldn't say, that's not really a sandbar in there, I don't think. I mean, you might be able, there's so much traffic through here, you wouldn't want to be parked right here because you're gonna just have waves all day from people coming through. But there's tons of sandbars around here. I mean, just tons of stuff that you can, no problem. Oh, and our first stop, our main stop today is going to be, it's right in here somewhere. It's the Turtle Little Hospital. All right, let's catch up with the group. All right, guys, there's the bathrooms. If you're ever down here, very important stuff. Turtle Hospital. Turtle ambulance, you know, in case he's driving down the road, getting a turtle accident. Oop, oh, the lizard, and I missed him. I haven't got one lizard yet. Thank you. You can do the surgery, Amy. <laughs> Everybody stand down. Amy's got it. Let's go to the back. Turtles are smoked with their flippers or hit with their, their toes. Maybe they want to poop it around. 
And then the table would be big and for turtles to kind of hide under. Maybe if they want to feel safe, maybe rub their shell against it to feel sensation. And on the last thing, which is my favorite, is the cylinder. So when they stick their head in there, they think they've become invisible. And how about worse is because if they can't see you, you cannot see them. Sadly though, and they have no need to get to see it, rather than being active with his breathing. Sometimes when he's breathing very, very dramatically when he comes up for air, and he likes to do it to throw water at our desk. So he does it to you. That's nice. Also, another thing that my coworker likes to tell me and some of our other staff is that you can do kind of like a flipper wave if they do come up because they can see motion. And sometimes with that motion, they might approach you thinking that they can eat you. So if you want to get a little bit of action, try doing a flipper wave. Anyways, I will finish what I was talking about, Bender. So Bender here, she's actually um, been here since 2005 and she has what we call, or I like to call, bubble shoulder. So her bubble shoulder is basically essentially that positive buoyancy syndrome, and she is missing her left flipper because of entanglement. So with this, she's more kind of laid back, and she's very quiet, very shy, and the only time that changes is when it comes to her favorite food. Now her favorite food is taking shrimp and stuffing it into a squid. Because if it's not like that, no matter how it's combined, it can be chopped, it can be smushed together, it can be put into a shape of a fish, she will not eat. It does not matter. In her brain, it doesn't matter because she'll watch the fishes eat it, she'll watch the other turtles eat it. It doesn't matter. She don't care. But if it is the way that she likes it, she will fight for it. She will slap other turtles with her turtles, she will fight other turtles with her beak kind of beat their mouth, and she will let other turtles know that this is her snack. Oh, and that is actually the there, only too. time she ever does anything. And most of the time, because that's the only time she goes yeah. and moves, is if she's going up for air, or if she's moving to sit up. Coming over, just, <laughs> just to bite you. Look at me. They're smart though, actually, baby. I mean, they're, they have to have a, They're immediately normally attacked. Oh, oh she can see right there. There. I need to put it in there because it's hot and it cooled off. It's waving. That's the, like exactly like when we saw out by uh, our place. Same size. That's huge. You saw it by your. Oh yeah, we live in Big Pine. Wow. They're all they're all over the place. Pretty cute. He was popping up earlier. Yeah, I saw a splashing. I'm hopeful he'll do it. One more time. Yeah. Come on, Bender. Let me kiss it. Look at this. It's so cute. Bender, come on. Try to hold his breath for like three hours, I bet you. A lot of them. There you go. Yeah, that's fine. I'll do it. You want to see it? There you go. They can hold their back for about three four hours. Three four hours. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. 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 He's got back lights on his shelf. <laughs> it's a bubble butt. Did you see him? Yeah, I saw the bubble butt. I was going to say there. It's just... 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 Now those lobsters are about this big. Why? Because why should you chase your food when you're going to be hand-fed dinner every night? That's what I do. I'll have us out for another two minutes and then we're good to go after you have everybody out. So you have two minutes, everybody. So that what you Walking on a working facility, a working hospital facility, on any time. And on top of that, go check that out. It's like the last program after running into a report.
probably the babies and breeding area. Well, this is really pretty. I mean, for the people. Oh, here, awesome. they got a nice spot. All righty, so I think I've already set my warnings down. Try not to stick your hands. Don't do anything funny. I might have to escort you out. I would like to not do that, so watch your hands as much as possible. On top of that, I also like to mention everything is cross-color-coded so that we can prevent cross-contamination at any point in time. So do please avoid your hands as much as possible. I also like to mention that on your right, these turtles here on these oblong tanks are... Sunny does have that marking on her shell because she did get bit by a predator. more vitamin D. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the sun a little more. Yeah. Oh, look at the, the raised water coming in. Yeah, I got plenty of them. I just want to drop my GoPro and get murdered here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you think maybe a rock in there too? You know what I mean? Some more natural environment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Probably confused. Which way is the sand? <laughs> Look at him. I wonder what's on at 8 o'clock tonight. Hmm. <laughs> Where's my remote? I got plenty of room. It's a lighter color it's one, so you know what I mean? Cute, I know. Yeah. Yeah, that size right there is really a cute turtle, you know. Oh, Amy, you missed it. Did you come up? Yeah. <laughs> I think he can hold his breath for like an hour and a half. Hour, hour and a half. Mm -hmm. That's an active guy. Yeah. It doesn't look injured yeah. that much, you know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah. He must not be dealing with much, like, it must not be so severe or whatever it is. Yeah. He's got a little bit excited because he will be feeding turtles. She's not honest to me. You can hear her. You can't get two strikes, Amy. You better hurry. Three strikes, Amy, you're out. Hey, buddy. I'm pretty sure they have yours. Yeah. Yeah, look at the head and the arms yeah. and legs and everything. Yeah, yeah. it's very unique. Almost looks like gir giraffe fruit. Yeah, it's funny, it's, that's armament on the... Uh... Oh, now we're talking. I would be handing out some turtle tracks whenever you're oh, look ready. at that one. Please cup your hands to me and I'll give you some of that. I'll start spotting some turtles for you. Another bubble butt. Look at the bubble butt everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe it's just a fad. I want this one to come. She it will. She will. There she comes. Bring your hand in there, Amy. Look, Amy, here's one coming up. Look. You can throw this turtle chow only in this quadrant. Hey, buddy. Now we're talking, see? This is more like it. Mm 
Yeah, look at that one. It was just holding back watching. <laughs> watching the traffic jam. Oh, I see people getting food to throw in there. That mist is a pain in the butt. The mist is a pain in the butt. It gets all over the camera and my glasses. It doesn't cool me off at all. They're eating. Here, mm -hmm. some, you can get some food, Amy, behind you, on your left, okay. on, behind you. I'm okay, but Amy, Amy probably would. Thank you. Well, I'm hungry. Uh, I'm alright, I just ate. I just had some food. That's why they came up to us. Mm -hmm. they, all, they know they're getting fed. Alrighty, so... I can already see that I have smalls over here. Okay, so maybe she might be over there. I can see I also have, I think that is Sukhoi. Um, let me go back over here. I can see I have Toby over here. I can also see Crook. I can also see, I'm sorry. I can see Emerald and Kosti. I'm also trying to see if I can spot um, Corey. Corey. Be awesome if I the camera. Corey. Oh, there's Corey. I can also see that I have very, very lost April. I'm trying your best. And then I have Martel over there. Can I spot anybody else? I have George, and I can't find Artie. So wherever Artie is. There's also a loggerhead named Medea. She likes to call it when she sees the color yellow, because it is her favorite color. She also might be at the bottom. I don't see her as a ray out. So there's a big one somewhere in me. Mm. Loggerhead. These turtles here are our non-releasable turtles. They all have bubble butt. You can see that their bubble butt see? goes different that directions. That's right. They all bubble butt. different locations and different areas. Too bad. And on top of that, you can also see that they do have those weights on them. These weights kind of counteract that. And on top of that, you can see that they're, blow, they're blowing here. water out of their nose. Hospital. And that's actually because they don't like the taste of salt water. So they get most of their water from Oh, that's why they're going to those tubes. Kind of oh. The fresh water. It's fresh water. Makes sense. Huh. Is that the loggerhead? Alright, so you will see the occasional parrotfish, the barracuda. There are Look at that one. Well, there was Larry the lobster, but Larry the lobster remained your boundary about a week ago. On top of that, there is the occasional octopus, and then there is handsome booby. She's probably on that side. I couldn't spot her. And no, that's not handsome Bowie, but she is big. <laughs> Ooh, so I'm also trying to just see if I can spot anybody else, but I think that's it. So the one that's all the way over there is Sequoia. And Sequoia's actually blind in her left eye. And Sequoia does something I like to call the right turn dance. So when she spins in the right, because she can only see out of her right eye. Now we are going to see some post hatchlings and some young juveniles, so whenever you're ready, we are going to crowd this side and make sure that all the food is in this tank. You're probably going to have the most fun with these tanks because people love to see the little hatchlings or post hatchlings. So whenever you're ready, feel free to crowd here and then we are going to walk together. Larger head, right there. A little bit of yellow to it. The turtles are all following the people with food in their hands. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're smart. <laughs> oh yeah, they're pretty in the light. Um, yeah, see you the difference? See you can see them way better. I've been taking video all last two weeks in the yeah. dark. And it's like, so yesterday I finally had some light. I was like, finally, what a difference. I ran out of food, it would be good to see him. Alrighty, I'll just get us started. So in this second there. tank here, there's none in the first. On the left we have macaroni. What a cutie. 
you, buddy. You got the nets there. I have so much fun. Hand sanitizer, Amy. You gotta hurry up. Oh, oh, so we cute. gotta go get our hand sanitizer. If you do have any questions, feel free to ask questions. <laughs> like a bunch of them. Hey, now, Amy, look at the uh, shells. See how they're jagged? Yeah. I think the, they just started making boats that way. Ooh, look, at, look at that one. Yeah. That's unique. I, I think they just started making uh, they just started making boats with the sides of those jagged spots. And I think it might be from these shells. The um, the horseshoe crab has the same jagged uh, things on its shells too. So I think it gets through the water faster. Oh, look at that one, Amy. Cruising. Patrick, you can't see him. Look at Michael's little hand tool. Doing 360. There you go. He turned around. He turned around. Doing a mess around. Doing a mess around. That's pretty funny. Oh, he is cute. He's skinny. Yeah. He looks like he's doing pretty good. He's like those babies are bigger. Yeah, Ten jagged yeah. things on the shelf. Yeah. I knew it. You turned around. <laughs> you must not be able to go all the way around. Oh, no. Yeah, he seems very confined. Yeah. Like, he would do well in a little space. Yeah. Well, I mean, these guys... He looks like he's doing pretty well. He just came out to be, like, really... Look how little large he is. These guys travel thousands of miles, eh? you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So they're not used to sitting still. <laughs> pretty cute how they look at you. I know, he's looking at it. Oh, he's pretty. pretty. Very pretty. He's a beauty. Same, uh, look at all the scales on the, uh, on the yeah. arms and legs again. Such a unique pattern. I really like it. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Here's a lighter one over here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at this one. Look at that one. Look at Jessica. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're both the pretty, both the same color. Yeah. Oh, no, we got out. you too. <laughs> we got you too. Yep, oh, it's like Minnie. He's so pretty. Like Minnie, I'm out of here. See him use his arm? Yeah, he's. Good luck one. I know, I know. He's. It's kind of a floppy thing, yeah. but he knows exactly what he's yeah, doing he does. with it. Yeah, he pushes off with it. Yeah, and there now he's going full full arm, you know, mm -hmm. and then right arm. See that again? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Left arm. Huh. No, 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 I got it now. It's just... If I push a button one, one too many times, it moves it too. If I touch it... Do you mind coming back so I can get a close up again? I miss half my bleach. Licking. Licking your split. pretty good you know, I've done it before so um, but I'm not in the habit of it you know what I mean okay so we got what Kemp's Ridley turtle that, that can't be the name of the turtle there's no way that's the name well, it must be named after Kemp for some reason maybe the guy found discovered him or something Hawks bill turtle. The sea turtle of tropical reefs has become rare. Amy is narrating. Amy is narrating. This, this guy didn't is, make a home. The, this is the skeleton of a turtle. And here's the anatomy yes, uh, of anatomy. a loggerhead turtle. Turtle tracks. All right, there, here's this a leatherback turtle. This guy's huge. 
up to 2,000 pounds. That's the largest of all the turtles with a supreme adaptations for an open ocean lifestyle. Oh. Ooh. Open ocean lifestyle. Lots Maybe this is the 2,000 pound one, right? No, that's that one. Well, it does way bigger. Loggerhead sea turtle, although they are Florida's most commonly observed sea turtle, loggerheads oh. are rare throughout most of their global range. Yeah. Green turtle. Green turtle. Ooh. Air conditioning. DVD, that's all folks. Wrist thing off. As I carry the GoPro filming our restaurant. Sunset Key. I mean, Sunset Grill. Sunset Grill, Amy says. On Marathon. On Marathon. Always technical. <laughs> Could have called this Blue Turtle you're, Inn. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> hey, two people, uh, can we just walk out in the back or no? You guys want a table? Yeah. yeah. All right. So, outside. Outside? Yeah. All right, there, I have a table outside, but with no umbrellas. No. That's all right. We'll move around if we have to. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We know what we're doing. Sounds great. I'll get you guys right you don't have to walk us out if you don't want that. <laughs> you could, uh, we live here, so you know what I mean? Oh, yeah? Yeah, we're going. Uh, Big Vine. Yeah, yeah. We, we moved from Summerlin not too long ago. Thanks, sir. See you, bud. There we go. Yeah, I was gonna say you might do better over here because it's shady. Yeah, I was wondering. This is shady too. No, this is shady as that. Okay. This is Friday night, Miami shady. Saturday night. Saturday night. Do you have this? Why is this on? Huh? Why is this on? Because I was getting some footage. Uh huh. Do you guys mind blowing us with your fan? Your, you mind waving us? So yeah, yeah. Sunset Grill. I got some tarpon here the other time at night. Only like two tarpon. It was ripping so fast. Everybody cuts around the horn here. We're at the west side of Marathon. Ooh, it's ripping pretty hard now. Look at that current. Fast. It was low tide when we got to Marathon. That was three, three, four hours ago. So that makes sense. It's headed to high tide. See the tide coming in? So there's probably a lot of tarpon sitting down here. We just can't see them. It's still cloudy from all the wind. Beautiful here though, sunset's coming. Saturday today, water was still as a pancake yesterday. Pretty flat today. Sandbars were packed. Our boat is still down. Amy and I are crying. This place is great. Good food, good service, great food. We always have a good time here. <clears throat> Need any help or you got it? <laughs> All right. No. Keep going. Say when, Mark. Pull it up to that front one. Yep. Married his son that ended up being I'll hold on um, back here. Like he started wearing boots. Does anybody have a second one? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Ja. Do you have a loop? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. You know this then. Can you check? Can you help him put that at mine, please? Thank you so much for your help. Yeah, of course. Uh, how do you want this on, sir? Like this? And pull through? Yeah, well, it looks like it. Yeah, it'll work. Are you sure if you're leaving it loose or you're pulling it tight? Uh, I think you leave it a little loose. You got her on? I was going to leave it lay off and see if it just pushed you away from it. Yeah, it's pushing me out about a couple inches. You want me to loosen up a little? Yeah, you're in a good spot. Not going to pound up against the side. <laughs> that ain't good. That's not without a softener, it ain't. Maybe a little pounding up the side. You got any bumpers? No, we don't. That's oh, no bumpers? No. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's kind of stupid. Um, I wonder if they have any bumpers in the restaurant. Um, I have a life jacket. Yeah, a life jacket something. It's really ripping right now. Even those noodles. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know if there's any um, meat something. Almost like you want the other side, maybe. I'm going to hold this. Um, yep. Uh, are you sure you don't have any bumpers? Yeah, we're sure we don't have any bumpers. This is good as it's going to get, where you don't dock. I'm not holding anything right now. I'm I want to see what it do. I'm pushing you guys. Out. Okay. I'm going to go, uh, I got to take off, but I'm going to go ask if they have bumpers. Thank you. If they do, I'll bring them down for you guys. We did the turtles, we did Sunset Grill for dinner, now we are on the 7 mile bridge, the new 2 mile, this is my first video spot, doesn't seem that busy today and it's a Saturday. Hey there's a sunset tour right there, boat. You guys see it? Ah. Hopefully it's not. We'll catch the other side maybe. Right down there. Ah, they're going fast. Whew. I tried. Oh, we're a little early, so maybe that's why we got great parking and Hardly any people. took off like normal I'm always slow I gotta get her bike out and then my bike and gotta get a beer angry orchard of course got a nice cup holder Actually, a great cup holder. I normally put like my little towel on it. Cause it's hot. Like today, it was humid. And then yesterday, I had to work in the sun all day. I mean, just I normally don't work twenty, you know, like a seven or eight at full shift. I do a lot of siestas. I work six, you know, dawn, five a.m., six a.m. to ten, eleven. 10, summer, 9, I'll work 5 to 9, summertime, a.m., and then siesta, and then if I have to, 
that's probably my day or I'll come back and work four to four to eight, five to eight. It's just too hot during the day for me and what I'm working on. Anyways, I worked all day yesterday and it gives me very humid. A little bit of heat stroke, not that bad, but I can I can taste it. So coming out biking and doing the turtle thing and I'm already tired early. There's a speed limit here. Ha, 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 ha.